Nina. Thanksgiving is approaching really fast and I wanted to create some fall themed place cards that I can put at not only my table for Thanksgiving, but I'm also going to put a little twist on it. With the challenges of 2020 and not being able to spend as much time with friends and family, you may be wondering how you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving this year. One of the ways that I think would be really fun to extend the Thanksgiving celebration amongst those of us that can't be together is to make place cards that you can create for the people in your life that would normally be getting together for the Thanksgiving holiday dinner. Perhaps you can make them place cards so that they can have them not only on their table, but you can have some on yours too. Let's talk about what I'm doing today. I have a whole bunch of products from the Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice Collection. I also paired up the Simon Says Stamp Everett Alpha's die set. I started by die cutting a bunch of letters from some pattern paper that's in the Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice Collection, and I also cut another set of letters from some white cardstock just for a little bit more of a thicker letter. My plan is to spell out the names of all the people that I'm creating place cards for. And that way I'll have these super cute colorful letters that I can use to not only spell their name, but this also helps decorate our place cards. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of die cutting the names, you could of course just write them out. The next thing I did was I cut a little scallop panel from some of the cardstock, and I'm going to glue that onto my place card. My place card is folded two and a half by five and a half. And I really like this size because it's a little bit on the larger size. So not only are they gonna look awesome sitting on your table, but they're also great for using these Doodlebug ephemera pieces from the Pumpkin Spice Collection to decorate. I loved mixing up all the different Doodlebug collection pieces from not only the ephemera pack, but also the odds and ends collection. I used a lot of the fun little sprinkles and shapes, pop-up stickers. There's a lot of cool stuff in this collection, so you can mix and match them to, to make the exact place cards that you want. And the other fun part is that this is a pretty inexpensive project. You could buy just the paper and also the ephemera pack, and that doesn't cost a whole lot. So these are simple and easy. Like I said, I use a lot of the stickers and sprinkles. I love these leaves and the pine cones. They're so cute and they're fun to mix and match. So like I said, I'm making place cards, not just for my table at Thanksgiving this year, but I'm also gonna be making place cards that I'm going to also send to my friends and family that aren't going to be at my table for Thanksgiving. I'm also gonna package them up with some fun treats for everybody so that way they get a fun surprise package in the mail. I think this would be fun for you to make name tags for the other people in your family that aren't gonna be able to be at Thanksgiving this year. And of course, if you do have a whole crew of people coming for the Thanksgiving dinner, these are gonna look awesome on your table with everybody's names all lined up. Now, one of the things I did wanna show you is that if you have a larger name, I did extend the name tag out a little bit to fit the name. And my brother, Dominic, his name was a little long for the five and a half length name card, so I just lengthened that out a little bit, and I think I made it about seven inches. These were super quick to put together, and I think this would be fun to do with your kids or grandkids, or maybe all together you can get everybody together at the Thanksgiving table and make them ahead of time. I think that would be really fun. One of the things I'm also doing is using the odds and ends. There's some great sentiments in there. I'm going to put a sentiment inside each of these little place cards just for a little something extra special. When somebody opens up their name tag, they're probably not expecting to see something in there, but if you add a fun little note or little sentiment, I think that would be such a fun surprise for the recipient. These were super easy to put together. I made a ton of them for all sorts of people in my life. Here's a selection of them. Of course, I got one for myself. I used a lot of the fun embellishments, and odds and ends, ephemera pieces, papers. All the papers are from this Doodlebug pattern paper collection from Pumpkin Spice. And you can see I used the same exact design across all the name tags, so they all look cohesive. I hope that you were inspired by today's project. This is a super simple and easy project. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun playing not only with these Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice Collection products, but also making these name tags for your Thanksgiving table. 
If you were inspired by today's video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a very happy day. Bye!